This rookie card reminds me of a rookie hazing I got in Philadelphia with a Hooters uniform. My teammates harassed me about it, and my daughters dragged me for it. Hi, I'm Dontro Willis. These are just some of the items that are near and dear to my heart. And today, I'm gonna let you in on a couple of secrets, especially on how to get MLB local games all season long. But we'll chat about that later. Let's take a deep dive into locker room confessions. This is personal, but this is gonna be fun. So let's get right into it. This is a uh, franchise record. My 19th win for the Florida Marlins. I think my daughter had it and she, she just thought it was a ball and then she realized that it was writing on it. And I was like, no, this is not just a ball. This is something that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna pass down to you guys. I think about all the things that people sacrificed for me to put me in this position to be able to achieve this. So I'm very thankful that God blessed me, but I didn't do it alone. So it's a reminder of that. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I'm at the Direct TV beautiful studio telling this story. When I was um, a rookie uh, for the Florida Marlins, I was very superstitious. I wanted to keep everything I used in the minor leagues with me in the major leagues. So I had these horrible shower shoes that started to tear. And as you can see, tearing just like this. And after a while, you know, they broke through. I wrapped these shower shoes with electric tape. Now you can imagine how bad this looks. My major league teammates were annoyed with me every time I walked in the shower with literally electric tape sticking to my feet. I come to my locker room one day and my teammate Carl Bovano says, hey, I have something for you. And I'm like, what? And new shower shoes. And he pats me on the back and says, hey, way to go, rookie. Gave you a gift. And I looked at him with this face like, like, what did you do? Like, literally, he just, I felt like he ruined my whole rookie season. I really thought they were, like, majestic. Like, I really thought they gave me my superpowers. So whether it was the same glove or the same cleats, you know what I mean? Whatever you can do to get yourself in that comfort level, in that zone, to go up against the best in the world, you do it. Oh, <laughs> these are gummy bears. I was doing an interview, and someone asked me, what's my favorite candy? And I said, gummy bears. And literally two days later, I had five five pound bags of these in my locker. And every single day, I would take a handful and shove them in my mouth and go shag balls. And they are still my guilty pleasure to this day. After we do this shoot, I'm gonna take these home and put these in my hotel room. These are mine. Oh, oh it's like heaven. Ah, there goes Big Daddy. Ah, <laughs> woo, that was a long time ago. Oh, that's when I was young. Now I'm old and decrepit. I never thought that God would bless me to be one of the few people that achieved a dream for myself. This rookie card reminds me of a rookie hazing I got in Philadelphia with a Hooters uniform that I had to wear on a flight serving my teammates beer from Philadelphia to Atlanta. And I had a newfound appreciating respect for being a server in a Hooters uniform. Everybody just wants to have fun because baseball's the longest season. You need to kind of keep it loose in there because it get redundant after a while. What do you think of this take on the personality? Oh, love you. In the group chats, it's always the pitchers that have stuff going on because they're the ones that get the most downtime, specifically starting pitchers. The pitchers that are throwing every fifth day, those are the ones getting into all the trouble. Those are the ones doing stuff that you may not expect them doing out there. Women, ladies, whoever it may be, anybody, watch out for the pitchers, specifically oh. the left-handed pitchers. Oh, I know he didn't just do that. It's all good. You know why it's all good? He's just mad because I have more home runs than he does. <laughs> you show him that, that's right. No, no, but uh, with that being said, he's not lying. <laughs> I always want to see my talented up and coming rookies earn their stripes. If you're the same way, listen up. MLB Extra Inning subscribers get access to MLB TV, the MLB at bat, letting you watch out of market games on almost any device. Uh, this whistle is a train whistle. My teammate, AJ Burnett, we started to turn it around our season. We started to win, fans started to come back. And he says, we're gonna go as far as you take us, Dontrell. I'm gonna call you the D train within weeks. It was people in Miami with conductor hats, train whistles. I can give you, I hope it's a solid blow, but 
a grocery store called Publix. They were the ones that sponsored it. So every time I would go to the grocery store, people were buying them because they were selling them at Publix. So I'd be in the aisle and someone would recognize me. They would run back to the counter and buy like all the train whistles. And then I would turn around with my Doritos and be like, oh my God, I'm trying train whistles. So with train with love and kind of annoying when you get scared, when someone sneaks up behind you when you're in a frozen food aisle and you hear a whistle. <laughs> I'm truly, truly thankful and appreciative of the experiences I've had with the fans of South Florida. So this is actually pretty cool. 2005 was a, a really uh, monumental year for me. Being able to win 20 plus games, it put me in the company with a group of men called the Black Aces. This is a group that was started by Mudcat Grant. There's only 15 African Americans in the history of baseball that have won 20 games. I finally realized the historic value for not only myself, but for my family. I knew I wasn't gonna be a Hall of Fame player, but this was something to me where if I was able to achieve it, it's transcending. Oh. <laughs> this is a World Series championship ring. We beat the Yankees in the World Series. Our owner in spring training said, if you guys win the World Series, I'm gonna buy you the biggest ring ever. And all of us looked around in the locker room like, dude, we're the Marlins, we're about to come in last place. But we did it and we shocked the world till this day, man. Every time I go back to South Florida and people see it, it's just surreal. It's the first time in sports where when we won it at 21 years old, I started crying. Cause I was just so overwhelmed with like what we did. I get goosebumps every time I see somebody in a championship. Doesn't matter what the sport is, I understand the hard work and sacrifice and the sacrifice for your family as well. It takes a lot. I feel relieved. These are my locker room confessions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, anybody watching want to send me more gummy bears, I really appreciate that. Oh, get this bag away from me. I can't believe Xavier was hating on me like that. You may already have a regional sports network, but you can also add MLB Extra Innings to get nearly 90 out-of-market games per week and also watch up to eight games at once. I feel so much lighter getting these locker room confessions off my chest. And now you know how to get your local MLB games all season long because with DirecTV, you don't have to compromise. If you have any weird superstitions, hit the comments below and let us know. Jesus, he's shouting shit.